What does the future hold for online shopping around the world? I speak to Tuobjorn Friedrichsen of the UN to find out. Tell us about the UNCTAD e-commerce index. So this is the second time that UNCTAD produces uh, an index on the readiness of countries to participate in uh, electronic commerce or e-commerce. We uh, have uh, combined four different factors to look at uh, the internet penetration of, a, of an economy, the extent to which people use credit cards, because credit cards are still the dominant form of payment online. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at the availability of secure servers in an economy, because there are financial transactions involved. People are very, uh, want to be sure that they, their transactions are secure. And the last area is the quality of uh, delivery system using the postal system. Of course, the postal system is only one proxy for the delivery uh, infrastructure, but it's, it's a good proxy. So when we combine all these together, we can uh, look at the uh, performance of 137 countries of the world, which is quite good. Uh, these 137 economies account for about 99% of world GDP. What's the environment for payment online today? Well, it, it's a mixed picture. Uh, we can st see that uh, still, for when it comes to business to consumer e-commerce, it's still credit cards that dominate the, seed, uh, the scene. About half of all the transactions made online for, for e-commerce are made using credit cards. But the picture varies a lot from country to country. For instance, here in Switzerland, there is a peculiarity in the sense that a lot of people prefer to pay on invoice. But if you go to developing countries, uh, which is, is of course the, the dominant uh, number of players in, in the index, mm -hmm. uh, there's still a, a high reliance on cash on delivery. Uh, there's a, still a, a lack of trust in using online tools and in some countries there is uh, a lack of regulations to facilitate online payments. Uh, and also in, in some parts of Africa, for instance, like in Kenya and other East African economies, mobile money solutions are becoming very, very important. So what's your role in all of this? So we, when we look around the world, we can see that the, there are still uh, enormous gaps in the extent to which e-commerce has, has, uh, has sort of taken on. Uh, let's look at the country like Switzerland or the UK or, or the United States somewhere between 60 and 80 percent of the adult population are already making purchases online. If you go down to developing countries and you look at countries like Mexico, South Africa, Thailand or, or so on, there are not the, the poorest countries but, but they're still emerging economies, mm -hmm. less than five percent are currently making purchases online. And then we ask the question, why is this the case? Mm -hmm. So there is a need for the UN and the entire international community to become better at addressing the different bottlenecks that countries are facing in this area. And currently we would say that we are not really fit for purpose here. So this is where we can come in, provide more information, bring out good policy practices from other parts of the world, and help them draft legislation, produce better statistics. There is a whole range of things that we can become better at. Do you want to talk about some of the programs that you're working on to facilitate this? Oh, with pleasure. Uh, I think one of the perhaps most exciting uh, initiatives that we have launched at, uh, at UNCTAD here in Geneva, mm -hmm. together with uh, partners in the, in the public sector and also in the private sector, is something called Aid for E-Trade. We see that uh, uh, there are gaps in, as I mentioned, in the infrastructure, on the infrastructure side, in the ability of countries to handle a lot of small parcels going in and out of the country when consumers start ordering thing online, things online, in the payments infrastructure, in the skills development area, and also in, in general assessments of what are the strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats in the e-commerce landscape in developing countries. And so what we're doing now, we're bringing all these players together mm -hmm. and in parallel we're, we're teaming up with the private sector that uh, is active in the area of e-commerce with big players like eBay, PayPal, Alibaba and so on, mm -hmm. but also on the, on the logistics side. Uh, so that uh, if you're an individual country, say Lesotho, and you realize that we need to get assistance from uh, the international community in the, in the area of payments infrastructure, mm -hmm. it should be very easy for them to find through a portal who can I contact? What kind of services could they provide? How do I get access to that? So what's the future? What are the goals for you? 
Our goal here is that we will launch this new initiative at the uh, next UNCTAD ministerial conference that will be held in Nairobi in July this year. And then uh, the uh, actual actions will have to take, uh, take hold starting after the ministerial conference and we'll roll this out uh, in the next year. And uh, hopefully that will help developing countries catch up in the area of e-commerce. Torbjorn, thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Christopher Hemmons. Joining me was Torbjorn Friedrichsen from the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. That's it from us, but you can find out more at our website, dukascopy.tv, where you can find even more exclusive content.